Oh, I love to my gooners, gooners and gooner babies. Not forgetting my gooner elders. You know what it is. All right. We ain't going to waste no time. You know what it is. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Let's get in at this. Next story up for today. We got a youngin. We got a young gun. Layla. Leela, Layla, let's go with Layla, Layla Herbert, there she go right there, number 16, I think that's Miss Reed right behind her, yeah, man, the baby's them, let's see what's going on here, Arsenal women youngster Layla Herbert tells us all about joining the club, training at the hell end and playing with the first team. For more features like this, subscribe to Arsenal Women's Program for 2024-25. I think I will do that after this. Um, <clears throat> I must have been about six when I first started to play with my twin brother and dad who coached the local team. It was an easy way to get into football and I never looked back. Big yourself up, darling. I trained with my dad's team for a few years before I joined the girls team, but I still love playing with the boys at summer tournaments. I grew up in Bexley, but when I started secondary school, we moved to be closer to football. I've been at the club from the age of nine. You know what I mean? You know how many players that we have? I don't know if you guys remember. Sorry to just, just take a little pause. Age of nine. That's how you know they're getting recruited young. I don't know if you know, but many a year ago, many a year ago, I'm sure Jack Wilshire was in the paper when he was like five. I'm sure West Ham signed someone when they were like four or five. It was in the paper. Four fives, do the research. I'm not exaggerating. Four, five, six, them, them age brackets there. And it was like, this play is going to be someone of the future. Trust me, go and do the research and you will see it. So it's not really too hyped to be talking about the babies. You know what I mean? It's not really, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's, it's, it's real out here. All right. So, sorry, where was I? I forgot where I was. I've been at the club from the age of nine and a lot of that is down to the Arsenal to an Arsenal legend, Gemma Davidson, who for I don't remember that name. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Got to give the people the shouts that they deserve. Do I know her? Oh yes, I do know who Gemma is. I do know who Gemma is. If you don't know who Gemma is, just a quick one. That's Gemma right there. You know Let I me. Mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've definitely done some um what's it called, tongue twisters and promoting her and all them kind of things there. Yeah, yeah. Didn't remember the name, but that face, definitely no. You on the dig? All right, let's get back to this. <clears throat> so she was the coach of the kids when she was playing here. And after one year of her sessions, the academy technical director approached me and asked me if I wanted to join Arsenal. I've called it home ever since. Another little pause there. Now, I don't know if you've seen the video that I did on Leah, a.k.a. Volti, a.k.a. Wally. And she was expressing that her, Kim Little and Beth Mido train the kids as well because they're trying to get their badges. So look at that. You know what I mean? That might come around and in two twos, one of the new babies in like 10 years time will be like, yeah, Beth Mead and Kim Little and Wally, they, they trained me. You know what I mean? All them ting come into play, bruv. All them ting come into play. All right, next up. I'm a defensive midfielder who loves controlling, who loves controlling and building out from the back under pressure. <clears throat> under, you should say, and under pressure. When when you're a kid on a five-a-side pitch, possession is fluid. Positions are fluid, but at the pitch, but as the pitch got bigger, I found my space. I didn't notice much of a difference physically until I started training with the boys at the Hell End, where everything is done at a fast pace. I trained with the boys twice a week, get in the car. Wolf down my dinner and joined the girls for an evening session. Bless her cotton socks. I was one of the two girls to train at the Hell End for three seasons. And it was an experience that has hugely shaped me as a player, particularly when it comes to the competitiveness. Stepping into the into the set stepping into the setup doesn't or doesn't ordinarily include girls. Or doesn't ordinary include girls means you have a you have to let the football do the talking. It's not always easy at that age, but once the boys saw we could play, we could play, they welcomed us. That's what I'm saying. Sorry, I have to stop that right there. And that's what I'm saying. It's, it happens with everything. Once you can show you can hang, nothing matters. Nothing matters. Nothing. Where you come from, what your parents do, the color of you, your hair color, your eye color, your sex. None of that matters once you can hang because it's, it's clear. You get me? Like if there was, no matter the sport, 
no matter the sport, big up a girl from my primary school, the one girl that I used to know, and I think she still kicks ball like on the weekend and that because I used to see her on the Facebook. Katie, I can't remember her name, but she knows she went to Newport Primary School. Katie, she was the only one kicking ball with the boys. The other girls, them sitting on the side, and we're over there, you know, the man, them were trying to show off and ting, nutmegs, Ben up, Telly and 12, score a goal, all them ting there, you know what I'm saying, in front of the girls. Katie was playing, bruv. I remember one time she bust me up, blood. She don't play. She played, and I loved that. And then when I got to secondary school, we went to a, um, what's it called? We went to a tournament in... In, in Holland, loved that and got to play against mixed teams. They they were doing mixed teams back then. Loved it. At first, when we saw the girls walking on, it's like, oh shit, they made a mistake. Did, did they not realize we are boys' school? My secondary school is a boys' school. Then they realized what's going on. Da, da, da. They didn't give two farts, blood. They had mixed. It weren't like literally one, 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 but they had like three gal in there, four gal in one team. Yeah, blood. They got sticky. You know what I mean? One girl did a Vinnie Jones me. Get me, Vinnie Joan gathered me, shocked the hell out of me. I was like, "What?" And she took the ball and ran. I was, I was so confused. I was like, "You can't do that," because <laughs> if I start touching, then it's then it's problems. You know what I mean? Crazy. Um. All right, where was I? So I keep losing my place. Did I, did I finish that bit? It's fluid, it's faster, and it goes, da, 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 and it's wolfed down at the hell end. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. let the football do the talking. It's not always easy at that age, but once the boys saw that we could play, they welcomed us. Boom, there you go. A lot of the guys we train with have now moved up <coughs> up to the training center, so it's now easy to see them around the training around the training ground. Um, when I first started, when I first started with the first team, it was surreal. I dream of that moment. I'd grown up watching these players and now I was competing with them in training. That's particularly true of little, that's particularly true of Kim Little, I was about to say little Kim, who was a massive influence for me growing up as a central midfielder. I, I got the opportunity to trade alongside her every day and watch the small details, which is incredible. When I, when, yeah, not when, I was a pretty nervous 15-year-old, but everyone was so welcoming. I had a meeting with Jonah before, but it was really it really hit home when I arrived at the training ground. I realized that the hard work had paid off, but that this was also just the beginning. I just focused on my football, wearing the same headband I've had since I was nine. And thanks to the players and staff, I feel more welcome in the environment every single day. It has been amazing to go... Yeah, it's been amazing to go on this journey alongside the other girls. Katie Reed, salute. Viv Leah, yes, sir. And of course, um, Freya Godfrey, that's what I'm saying, have been there since they were about they were about 13. And Michelle has been there, has been at Arsenal forever. The pathway from our, from the academy to the senior squad is probably clearer than ever right now with the sheer number of us making that switch. Yeah, look at my young babies, them. That's crew on the left, by the way. She's actually a player, the babies uh the three on the right hand side. Bless them cotton socks. You get me? Making my Arsenal debut during our um, Australian tour was a lovely way to end the season. The support out there was incredible. I didn't know what to expect, but it definitely wasn't that. It just shows how worldwide Arsenal is. I had a taste of the atmosphere on the bench from the 2023 Champions League semi final, looking up at the sold out crowd and feeling how far. How far our game has come was an amazing feeling. It's great that the club supports us during its international camps because the schedules often clash. I captained the under-17 Lionesses at the European Championship recently, which was my proudest moment as a footballer. Salute to you, darling, where we were runners-up. So it also means that we qualified for the World Cup in October. Big yourself up, man. Captain in your country comes with a lot of responsibility, but I relish it. Well done. Well done. Ultimately, my aim is to become a regular a regular starter for Arsenal, but that doesn't happen overnight at 17. This season, I'm going to push myself physically and technically in the first team training. Hopefully, I'll go out on loan when I am when I turn 18 to get some more senior exposure and match and match minutes. And when I come back, I'll be ready to compete. I like that talk, man. That last paragraph right there remind me of girl that I interviewed Luna, who's now playing in America. When they're switched on, bruv. When they're switched on, it's beautiful. When it's switched on up here and they got the skills, because normally you got the skills and when they come up, it's... And I'm talking all the babies, man, gal, both. You know what I'm saying? So it's good that 
up here, they're there. When I'm 18, hopefully, hopefully I get a loan. No, I'm going to stick here and I'm staying. You know what I'm saying? Because there's two mindsets to have. Some people don't like the loan because when you get loaned out, you can get forgotten. They just dash you away. You know what I'm saying? Dash you away. And then you become like a journey girl, journeyman. That's what they call it. You get me? But I'm, I'm, I read that. Big yourself up. Hold on. Let me get her face on screen, man. Big yourself up. You see me? Leela Herbert, Miss Herbert, Sasatum, you get me? Herbert Chapman, how you mean? Nice little vibe there, even though it's a surname and first name, but you know what it is. <laughs> but yes, people, big, this young and up, young gun. We're there, blood, we're building, you get me? We're building. The future looks bright. The future looks goonerish. Don't forget to like and subscribe, people, and I will see you on the next one. Stay good, stay blessed. You know what it is. Ah. Real women love gamers. What's up, people? Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel.